Welcome back YouTube for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the US session. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 and also gold. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. We are going to be looking at a 10 tick on S&P 500. Right now you guys can see that we did have some up movement today during the US session, some nice upward movement, found some resistance at some key levels, and then we came right back down into support. And currently right now, it looks like we're in a sideways kind of range, right? We're at a level of support that we wanna see right between these 62 to 64s. We're looking for this bounce off that level, maybe get a double bottom, beat bottom, to try failure. If we get that bounce to fail to go lower, look to retest the upside in the middle, right around these 60 to 64s. And then above that, we're going to try the 66s, the 68s. Once we get through that level, we still got a little bit of resistance coming in right at about 72.50 right over here. Um, but first, we will have to see the market get through this level of about 66 to 68. If we can't, it will look similar to this where we'll get that failure. We'll try to get that failure there to, you know, to try failure, double top there and maybe take it back down if we want to continue that short there. Um, but right now I would say that our best opportunity is going to be for these longs if we're still around this area for the London session we will be looking for the long opportunities from this area here to try to take it back up but if we come up against resistances if we don't get through them we're going to look for that market to fail the levels and then get it right back down into the mid area that value area or uh, right back down to the levels of actual support let's take a look at a five tick here real quickly by the way I switched the contracts here we are on the March contract um, if you guys want to change that over you can still trade the December but I switched it over to the March uh, just to get more of a current view let's take a look here at a five tick here on this March contract again same level of support that we're looking at right here between these 54 to 52 is there and again we're looking for that market to hold this level here and then take it all the way back up at least into these 60 to 64s and then through that level try to get it into those 66 to 68s now if we can't get through it look for that opportunity to pull that price right back down into the middle area about 60 right but if we do get through it look for that support coming right in at about I mean resistance coming right in at about 72 that's going to be your opportunity to try to take that trade off resistance somewhere up over here if you want to try to take that down but right now it'd be better for us to try to continue the long from this level of support let's take a look at gold here guys um, 10 tick on gold shows us that we are moving down a little bit we did catch some resistance right here so our level of support comes right in here at about these 1837.2s you can try a more minor level um, which is going to be somewhere right around here but that's not too much of a big level for me to look out for. But if you guys want to try minor levels, that would be that level somewhere right around this area here. These 39.4s. But I'd say the real support is going to come somewhere around these 37.2s. But we'll see if this market can't break below that. Then you're going to look for the market to retest resistance. But if it can't, if it can, look for it to come back to these 37.2s. You can even say there's a little bit of support coming in at 34.6. So... We get to this level, we get through 37, look for 34, and then below that 32.5. And if we get through that level, obviously we got about 28.5 from there. Look for the bounces of support from these levels and you can look for a fade to continue to move back to the upside. Let's take a look at a five tick chart on gold as well. So this is what we got on gold on a five tick chart here. You can see we do got that little minor level of support that we were just talking about somewhere right around these uh i don't even want to really put that low we'll just kind of leave that off it might make it a little bit easier i mean you can if you want somewhere right around these 39.4s but it's not going to be too much of a great level for me but um, i prefer to see a bounce right around these 37s or somewhere down here at about these 34.9s down here so um, i'm not really going to have that level but if you want that minor level you can I'm waiting to see if price gets right back in here and we get that supporting idea we can take this level back to the upside off for a double bottom or a two try failure that would be a good opportunity if not there then we'll look for our levels underneath 34.9 uh somewhere around 32 and then 
that's what we're going to be looking for on gold as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed that when we get into the london session we will see where we're at and then trade the market based off of where the current price action is but if you guys did enjoy this please go ahead and smash that like button if you're not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe if you guys are really appreciate you guys watching the videos if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them into the youtube channel and also just want to let you guys know we're going to be launching the pure structure trading pretty soon so some exciting stuff a lot of content that's going to be coming out if you guys are interested feel free to look at that uh website there www.purestructuretrading.com go ahead and pop your email in there so you guys can get notified when everything does start to launch again if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube and we'll get back to you guys take care have a good night.